Welcome to an installment of a new series here on my YouTube channel called Never Have I Ever. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Never Have I Ever is all about having a product here in this sacred space and using it for the first time. I collect quite a few craft supplies and today I'm going to take three that I've never used and I'm going to use them. Distress paints. Stick around. That card project is coming up next. I'm going to try something I've never done before and that is paint. <laughs> I don't think I've ever painted on my channel. But I've been collecting these distress paints. I have a glass mat to work on which I also rarely use but I thought today inspired by the brand new Uncharted Mariner I thought we'd give it a try. I don't know what I'm doing and that's probably the the joy of it all. Oops I got a little paint already on me. Uh, I've been shaking this up. Let's pop it open. I'm gonna put some paint down like that okay and I've got a little water here because I, I, I don't know are you are you supposed to pick it up with water? I, I could have googled this before but here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pick up some paint. Oh that is a pretty color and I'm just gonna make some swatches like like that Ooh, just like that nothing more nothing less now i guess that's where you rinse right so let's just clean this off i'm sure it cleans off beautifully oh look at that yes it does just like that oh yeah figured okay beautiful uncharted mariner look i'm gonna get paint on my hands this is gonna be wild Although I am still taking a very neat approach to it, which is kind of hilarious. But I'm going to run my brush in some clean water, get most of that off. And actually, you know what I could do? Kind of tamp it off a little here. And then I'll just pick up some of this color and do the same. Overlap, overlap. overlap. Look at the flicky. That is kind of cool. I like that. Like where you get the transition. Ooh, <laughs> look at me. This is a beautiful consistency. Like the opacity is so high. Wow. Okay. I think that's beautiful. Moving on to Villainous Potions. So this is another color. Again, I haven't done anything with these paints and I feel like I watched Tim the other day and I don't know, maybe I just got inspired because someone left a comment on my channel and said, you know, the paints are pretty cool. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna try them. Look at that color. Look at that. And just these lovely, cool tones. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that overlap. That's really pretty. I don't wanna, I don't wanna overdo it, you know? Just like that. Okay. Now, I am going to wipe this up. Let this dry for a second and we'll see what happens. I love it. I think I got a little thick on the paint up top, but I will allow this to fully dry. I'm probably going to use the panel as is. Haven't decided yet, but I think I am going to take, I have this set of Sizzix dyes, which I love from Tim Holtz. Um, and I think I'm going to do the Make-A-Wish in white. I'm going to cut out a few layers and maybe build them up for some dimension. Mm -hmm. To take the negative space here and just trim this off right here because I don't need it and this actually looks really straight look at that can, can you see I feel like I feel like I got this on that paper really straight so I might use this as a guide for laying in my pieces onto my card panel now that this is dry, I'm going to just trim it down a little bit with one of my HU Layers dies, but I want to try to preserve 
the the, the swipey part because I think that looks really cool. So I will go ahead and cut this off off camera and then I will also trim this down as well so they are the exact same size. That way it's going to make it a lot easier when I go to line up my letters on the card panel. Actually, there was one part I forgot. So I've got my panel for my card and I think that's beautiful. But what I wanted to see is I heard these are water reactive. So I'm going to add a little water here just to my, my paintbrush, my splatter brush, fan brush. And let's just see what happens. I have no idea if it doesn't work. Just a few splatters like that. And see what happens. Lot it down. And then, yeah, I guess it does, does it? Huh. Definitely looks darker in those spots. Maybe I'll put a little more on a couple bigger splatters there. All right. Now let's see here. Maybe the reaction is not as strong as what happens when you have the inks but I'm still going to let this dry. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Before I assemble the greeting on top of the card, maybe you have to do it when the paint is wet. Let me know. Cause I, if you're familiar with the distress paints, pop me a comment and let me know. Let me know the magic in the meantime, we'll dry. I've got all of my letters lined up here. And what I'm going to do is figure out where the center is here. And then I'm going to tape this into place with some low tack tape and use this as a guide for placing all of my letters. And I think that'll be, I think that'll be good. Then they'll be all nice and lined up. So I'll go ahead and get some music on and we'll place them in and build up some dimension. I'll use liquid glue for the first layer. And I think I'll use micro dots for all of the rest of the layers. Now that that's adhered, I'm going to make a USA2 card base. So I will score this five and a half inches, which will give, oh, I just bent the card stuck. You know what? Let's keep going, <laughs> which will give me a hot mess. Okay. We're going to fold this down. I think it will be fine. Sure. No one will know, you know, cause you saw, but no one else has to know. All right four and a quarter wide by five and a half tall. Let me grab some foam tape for the back of this. One of the things I love about Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor Cardstock is how bright white it is. It's probably the only one I really use anymore. And 
It just looks so good on the Nina Solar White note cards. And press. Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, I love the look of the paint. There's something about it. It has a quality that looks very different from inks. So let's get something shiny to put on this. For the shine today, I'm going to use some new confetti sequins that I just got from This Calls for Confetti, TCFC. And I will have these linked below. This is a new shop to me. And there are so many different types of confetti. I I ordered just a ton of them. Now these little containers do, are, do, don't come with it. This is part of an, uh, an Elizabeth Ward bead tray and I'll have that linked below as well. But I'm very excited about this company and they actually sent this tray to me oops, <laughs> as a little nice thing. And I think that's the cutest stinking thing I've ever seen. So let's put some of our, oh, I can never get these open, sequins in into the boot dish. Oh, I love it. And let me get a few placed and we'll glue them down. All right, now that I have these in place where I want them, I'm just doing a simple three and three. Instead of an odd number, I'm going to do an even number. Come on now. I just refilled my bottle. There we go. Boop. Beautiful. Sometimes when I don't boop, boop, it's only when I'm not using a traditional sequin or confetti. I just want you to know that. Boop. I know it lets some people down and it relieves others. Hard to say. Boop. And the last one here. Boop. Just for a little reflected symmetry. Reflected symmetry is when you have something up top, you repeat it at the bottom, but you flip it. Does that make sense? So this is technically called reflected symmetry. And that is the finished card project. I am so excited by this paint. I've never used it. I didn't, I, and I didn't even watch any videos before I did it. I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna grab a paintbrush. I'm gonna give it a, a whirl, these colors together let's go in order here, are fantastic. So I hope this inspires you to bust out something in your stash of crafty materials that you've never tried because that's what I did today. And I love this card so very much. Thanks so much for watching today. You can find links to all the supplies I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. I'll see you back here with another card project soon. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.